Hey, hey, what's up, people? It's Friday. It's mail call. And uh, I got some good stuff in. I got my order from postersmith.com. I, uh, I had a couple of orders for some thigh rigs. So I got the G code thigh rig with React Clip. So I'm going to build that one. Got another thigh rig with the RTI mount that was uh, specific for another customer. With the RTI paddle, so you can go ahead and swap from here to here to your vest. So we're going to be doing that. More rubber loops because I needed them. And an RTI plate because I used one, so I replenished it. But I ordered the G2S, which is the uh, single stack, so it's a lot thinner than the G2C. So I ordered that one so I could go ahead and uh, obviously produce holsters for the G2C. I mean the G2S. Uh, but if you have a uh, G2C as a split mold... You could actually form it onto a G2S. Uh, you'll just have a little bit of a taller sight channel, but you're now able to make a holster for that. So we're going to do those. The new Glock G48 MOS, which has the uh, the rail under it. So we're going to be doing that. And then uh, we're going to have to block that out right there. But I think we're going to use some, um, probably some uh, water weld or, or something to get that going. But we got that in. And I've had this already. And I'm going to explain why I ordered different stuff. So... If you do basket weave, which is what we have here, this basket weave was sitting in the sun. And I don't know if you could see how warped that is, but from just sitting in the sun, this .080 acted like .06, and it just completely deformed. So that's going to tell me that even if it's formed and on your side, if you're standing in the direct sun, it's going to deform your holster. So uh, what we've come up with is the rule of thumb is if you're going to be doing a... 0.08 you need to use 0.09 uh, 0.093 whatever the size is and it'll mimic the 0.08 to do 0.09 you're going to do 0.120 so I actually went ahead and ordered the 0.120 it's very very thick and what they measure is the distance from obviously edge to edge but the basket weave has dips and valleys so our mounds of valleys so what we're going to do uh, is that will mimic it so I'll show you how to bend this because I got I got an order for a local police department uh, on this so it's um takes a little bit more up to temperature and takes a little bit more pressure because it's so thick but you know go ahead and we'll, we'll work on that and I'll show you got some more police blue in we'll work on that and I got my router bit in so I'm excited because now all I have left to do is build a little wall section off here so I could go ahead and start using the router because uh, it throws some chips and I don't want that all over my shop um, but I will let's see here the router if you go on Amazon, it is part number 50-501, and it's made by Fruit, F-R-E-U-D. Uh, I'll put that in the description, but this is a uh, it's a top and bottom bearing flush trim cut, uh, which is what you want for doing the holsters with the trim jigs. So that came in, I installed it, I set the height, and uh, I got power to this already. So, like I said, the only thing I have left to do is build is build the uh, the rest around it. And um, I got this giant box today from RSR uh, because I am a gun dealer. Um, I order stuff from them. And a lot of this stuff that I'm ordering is now for holsters. So if you are looking for like UBL drops or anything like that, um, I've actually been ordering them in bulk and distributing them. So let's see what we have in here. We have some, yeah, okay, let's check this out. Ah. So we got a uh, Zekins Precision charging handle. I actually got this for the girlfriend's AR because uh, this is one of the last parts she needed. And, oh yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> we got four pounds of Tannerite. If you don't know what Tannerite is, it's a binary explosive and uh, very powerful stuff. So uh, I'm adding some to my collection. So this makes like 15 pounds or something like that that I have. And a purple Uplula. If you don't know what an Uplula is, it is a speed loader. And if you have uh, carpal tunnel, arthritis, or, you know, you're just weak because you're not putting your big boy panties on, this is definitely the tool for you. I got this for my girlfriend and for my mother. And uh, so that's what this is for. But it looks like the rest is for the Safari Land Forks. Now, I, I ordered over a hundred of these. I dropped 1300 bucks. 
So I will be distributing them out to all those guys that ordered it. And I will probably, probably put these on my website. So you as a holster maker, if you need forks, I will, uh, I will do that. And I will try and replenish. So I know I personally bought uh, five of everything. Um, but I did order 107, I think it was, of a mixture between these and the UBL drops. So, looking forward to, uh, to those. So, hell yeah. I'm just missing the other box, but, uh, I wonder, I know this is, uh, the Zekins, but I don't know if it's Ambi. And it was, like, the, one of the only ones that they had. And it looks like it is not Ambi. Nope, this side doesn't move. I wanted that side that moved, but... For now, this will have to do, and I think this was 70 bucks, and to not have this side move kind of sucks, but it is what it is, but it'll go good in her AR. So, as long as she likes it, I don't care. I paid for it. She didn't. But, yeah, stay tuned for some videos. I know in the future you'll see some of these being blown up. Um, I'm going to be doing a custom TQ that's uh, requested, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'll probably film that as well. So, yeah, we're going to uh, gonna have some good builds coming up. Stay tuned. More mail. More mail. Oh, the mail lady came too. Alright, let's see what's in this box. I think I know what it is. <laughs> Look at that. So, I am a part of uh, some cool things. One of them is a Safari Land stuff. So, I have here a whole bunch of <laughs> Safari Land. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so I'm going to be divvying these up. I actually, these are um, for sale. Well, actually, these ones are sold. So I will have to divvy these up with the people that bought them. That's awesome. This is full. Move the camera. Jeez. This I could. Holster makers, um, I offer the QLS system. Um, I might put them on my website, but if you are on any of the like the forums or group pages that I'm on, on Facebook, you'll know that uh, pretty much once a month I do a giant buy. So I bought a hundred and ten of these, I think it was, and um, cost me thirteen hundred dollars. And uh, uh, and then I went ahead and um, people will go ahead and, you know, they, they bought them off of me. So um, cheaper than Amazon if you buy more than a few. But if you're only going to buy one or two, just get it on Amazon. Oh, and there's more. What's this one? I'm also actually waiting on um, more, more packages. I got UPS coming today and then my mail still hasn't come yet. So... Yeah. Alright, what's in this one? <laughs> Alright, and this one is UBLs. These are the mid drops. Uh, got an AR stand so you can bolt it to your bench and the AR clicks into it. Got two of those. Dust cover, upper receiver kit for an AR. That's for a lady. A couple AK-47 magazines. You can never go wrong with magazines. And then the rest. <laughs> this is all UBLs. All UBLs. So I'll have to take a picture so you can see literally how much I got. Oh, there's more. Anti-roll pins. 
gas block from AR. There should be two of these. Jeez. All right. Let's uh, gotta separate all this stuff. Yeah, that big table I just built is now like all used up. So maybe I'll build another one. The color drops. anti-roll pins in here. Yeah, there they are. All right. Oh, okay, so everything is accounted for. Cool. So now I gotta package all this up and send them out. Hell yeah. All right. Sweet deal. And then, like I said, there's more. There's more on its way, and uh, once that stuff gets here, I will uh, I'll show you that as well. But hot damn, this is awesome. I like this. <laughs> and lastly, we got 365 Hellcat and uh, Glock 48 trim jig. Finally got one of those in because I've got my router. The AR-15 trim jig. Got those. And speaking of trim jigs, you guys all know I make holsters for the uh, the FBG6 flashbang grenades. And I started, um, I want to streamline these because I got some dealers asking for them. So what I did is I poured a mold and it looked like this. And what I did is, uh, this is called VAC50. So you know, laid it flat, and this is how it came out after the fact uh, when it was all trimmed and everything. So, pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm going to tweak my mold a little bit more, and uh, I'm going to make my own vacuum mold out of it. And like I said, it's called Vac 50. It's about $130 for two gallons worth. Uh, you mix it by the um, by the pound, so equal lengths uh, by the pound. So I ended up mixing up like nine pounds of this stuff to be able to make uh, two of these. But of course, it's actually like this big, so I, I really didn't need it that big. But it works, and uh, I now know how to use it, so I will do a video on how to do it. But I'm going to make a mold, and I'll probably go step by step on how to do that. But anyways, so yeah, making my own trim jigs. And then one last package. I ordered this from Plan B Holsters, because now that I have the, um, the router, like I said, I just need, I need all trim jigs. So... If I bought it, I'm now going through all the uh, devices I have and ordering everything. So this right here is a trim jig for my uh, TQs. So I could go ahead and streamline it because I got a store that wants like 20 of them a month now. So instead of doing it and cutting by hand, I can now go ahead and do this. So super stoked about it. And uh, stay tuned for the next mail call. Cheers. <laughs>